Yo, welcome back to another Sim for You tutorial. And this time we're gonna talk nose. Rio, reach out to me on Instagram, ask me how nose work, and I know it's confusing to you guys who just got started, just like how confusing it was to me when I just got started. So, I totally feel you. And I'm gonna try my best to explain it as simple as possible so that you guys can all understand it. All right, so let's get started. Now let's look at color. We can basically plug any node that has color to it. Here we have color node, gradient node, noise node, thin film. All those nodes can be used here for the color. Now we can do something, we can pick gradient and let's see what happens. Here we have our gradient. If you want to add variability in the color, you can also choose other nodes as different layers. Let's say noise. You can either replace it or add a layer. If you were to replace the node, that's going to change it to the here is going to change it to noise. We are going to add another layer here and organize it. So we have our layer and you can change the transparency of each layer to let's say 50%, 50% and the blend mode Hold on here, blend mode. Now let's take a look at emission. It has color, right? which means you can use the color, you can plug it there, and you got the emission. And next, alpha. What do you think about that? It's basically a mask. This, does it look like a mask to you? If it does, you can definitely plug it here. And if you want this to be the mask, you can plug this here, which gives you a different result or this one. We're gonna leave it that way. Now move on to transparent. Here we have color. So what can we do? We can use our existing node. Let's take the layer and see what happens. It's transparent, right? Let's move on to transparent. Now we have color here. What does it remind you of? The layer, right? Let's change the gradient. Let's say gray here. Wow, that's and this one pink. All right, I'll go for blue. So we have our transparency. Now we can use our existing gradient node or you can use other ones or the layer we're going to take the layer for that and now you can see the transparency there which means you can plug all the nodes that contain color to the nodes that need color the next one is normal what can you do with normal you can plug a bump map to the normal which can transfer the noise to a normal map. Let me show you how it works. Here we have our bump map and we can use the value of the noise to the bump map. And the bump map gives you the bump based on the noise. So what else do we have? We have a displacement that's quite similar. You can simply use the noise here. You can plug any node that contains different values, let's say brightness, to the displacement map or the bump map, which gives you the concavity and convexity. Now let's get an image. We're going to plug it to the displacement. Um, look for an image. This one here. OK, we should disconnect this one. Now we can see the texture has been applied on the material. So that's the whole concept of nodes. 
Hopefully by now you understand how notes work and are ready to try it out. If you have any question, you can always leave a comment below or DM me on Instagram. I'll reply as soon as possible. And please like and subscribe to my channel so that I know it's helpful to you guys and I'll make more. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>